Good afternoon all, Russ Douglas 222 again. How are you all doing? Hope you're well. Bit of a different review this time. It's going to be quite a concise video, hopefully. We have the Lobo Mustang, kindly lent to me by Lloyd from Blackpool Air Rifles. In fact, this is Lloyd's own rifle. Lobo's a Spanish company, quite a new one to me. Although they've got some interesting rifles when I checked out the website. By the way, I must mention, you need to go to the website to download the manual because the manual didn't come with the rifle. So that was a doddle to do on my phone and on my PC. Uh, I've converted the PDF to JPEGs and included the whole of the manual in my Flickr album to accompany this review. And the link to that is down below in the description. So Lobo Mustang, and as you can tell, resembles a Winchester. I've reviewed a Winchester-esque rifle once before, the uh, Umarex Walther that takes two 12 gram CO2 capsules in the butt or an 88. The Mustang is a PCP and it is exceptionally loud. So I'm not gonna be firing it here in the spare room to annoy the neighbors, but Lloyd's got this fitted with a red dot, which is perfect for toppling tin cans out to sort of 50 meters, exactly as uh, Sean in Blackpool Air Rifles promised me. He can be hitting the one inch uh, discs out to sort of 30, 40 meters. You've also got a dovetail rail here and there's a, an adjustable rear iron sight. It's only adjustable for elevation. Very unusually, to adjust the windage, you've got a figure eight clamp here and on the right hand side, there's a screw and you basically pivot the one inch diameter upper tube, which is the rear air reservoir. It's like a slim rear air reservoir and the 15 mil diameter lower tube is the barrel. It might look like a chunky shrouded barrel with some sort of a slim magazine like you'd find on a 2-2 rimfire underneath. But this is the, this fell is the barrel and the one on top's the reservoir. We've got a sliding collar and the fill probe, one is supplied, pops in from above, just in front of the foresight. And there is a removable knurled cap and there's a half an inch of a thread here for, for a moderator. You really do need a moderator in this fella, unless you own something like a massive garden or a farm. So very nice lines, nice clean lines. We have open sights. We have a wooden forend, a wooden wrist buttstock, and the length of pull is a bit generous. The whole length is 975 millimeters, and weight is five and three quarter pounds. Length of pulls a little bit longer than I expected, three five five. So for me. Yeah, length of pull is just about spot on for me, and I've, I do have long arms. Some would find it a little bit of a stretch, and it is definitely, although you've got a scope rail, it's perfect that Lloyd's put a red dot on this, because with having quite a low comb on the cheek piece, you, uh, yeah, you want it, if you want to get your cheek down on the, on the stock here, that would be for iron sights, or at a pinch for, uh, for a red dot. Cocking? as you can imagine, is via the underlever and there's no safety catch and there's no anti-double load, but it is decockable, although that leaves a pellet chambered. We've got a sizable cutout here, you can see against my hand, in the action, and there's a tw this is 2-2, two -two. there's a 12-shot magazine, slides in from one side, and I've got some footage of John at the Grampian Air Rifle Club at Gark on the 50 meter range loading this fella. It's very slick. It's, it's less than six pounds. It does feel a little bit heavy, but only because all the weight is in your, your supporting hand because of the long length of pull and the, the steel action starts from here forwards. So yeah, the weight, the weight is all in your supporting arm and the, the balance point is a, an inch or so forward of the rear end of the 500 mil barrel to decock it forward there we go very very clean looking rifle very nice lines it's got a maximum fill pressure of 300 bar but i only took it to 220 because it's not my rifle it belongs to lloyd and i got 40 full power shots out of it from 220 down to about 75 bar so if you fill it to a full 300 bar which it is rated to, then you're probably going to get about 60, 60, 70 shots out of this fella. But it's a whole lot of fun. It's the first rifle I've taken to Grampian Air Rifle Club and let some of the guys uh, carefully have a, have a go of. People have commented, it's so much fun. 
even if you miss your target, it's still fun. There was an equal 50-50 balance of uh, opinions in favour of the very loud noise and against it. Very much personal preference. But as I say, the moderator is available, although an off-centre moderator might spoil the lines of the, the fella a little bit. I did try it with one or two sort of basic scopes and got a 20mm centre-centre group at 25 metres off a rest. So, and that's 2-2. Two -two but it's an awful lot of fun. There's no sling swivels with this fella. You can obviously drill the rear wooden stock for a rear sling. And at the fore end, I would put a clamp on the barrel itself to take a, a sling point rather than trying to drill what's probably quite a slim wooden fore end with the steel barrel underneath it. You don't want to drill into the barrel. So one other thing regarding the open sights, from the sort of semi-fixed front blade foresight to the elevation only adjustable rear sight. That's 18 and a half inches. So it's got a compact line of sight. It does look and feel like a perfect saddle gun. It's very satisfying racking it and firing it. Although there's not as much mechanical noise and sort of just mechanical cranking, clanking as there is with the Umarex Wolfer Winchester clone, the CO2 one. But that uses the little eight shot die cast mags that are the same ones that fit the Umarex range of pistols. This fella has a bespoke 12 shot sprung self-indexing magazine. It's also available in 177 and 0.25. And one other thing, I'll insert a photo or two here. When I first borrowed this, hadn't read the instructions fully. We went on the Gark 50 meter range. Thanks again, Nori. One of the guys kindly put out a couple of targets for me. I had to raise the rear sight slightly for it to be pretty close at 25 meters. And I did that by sliding a toothpick underneath the back of the rear sight from my Swiss Army knife. But I've then discovered, quite a cool design, there's a small slot, longitudinal slot, in the top of the, the rear sight blade. And you basically pop a, a, an Allen key in and reverse the Allen key anti-clockwise and that backs it out of the action block and lifts the blade. So very clever, but I'm not altogether sure how happy I'd be adjusting the figure eight clamp that holds the front of the air reservoir to the barrel to move the barrel left or right to adjust the windage. I think I'd rather aim off. And it's an awful lot of fun to use on the range. It really is. The Lobo Mustang, one heck of a rifle, really is a lot of fun. Priced about 900 quid. Feels very well engineered. Although be aware, there's no safety catch. Popping each 2-2 pellet in, indexing it around one click um, after prodding them home, after basically seating oh, the pellets. So once it's one, it'll stop moving when it's full, yeah? Yep. But here's John having a try of the Lobo Mustang for us. You like the feel of it, don't you? Yeah. Cool. So, I can hear it hitting something. That's me, <laughs> not being very good. Uh, that, that was a miss. Hmm. Oh, that hit something. It's off the top of the crew beyond the 25 meter one. It's off to the left. Okay, well, that's. So that's the crow middle of the screen that John's shooting. So forward and then the Yes, forward and then slide it out from the right. No, that's cool, I like that. So, 
It's a nice feel of the rifle, yeah, nice carbine. It's carbine, isn't it, basically? It's not too long. No. Although, looking at it beside your day state, day state without the moderator is about the same length, actually, isn't it? But it longer length of pull, though, so. Yeah, longer length of pull, though. It's different. It feels, feels different. Yeah, feels that, good. That's much more blocking, but yeah, it's good. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> Excellent. I can definitely hear the clink of your ringing steel up there. I'm getting the, I'm getting the, I'm getting the target. It's just not resetting it. Oh, I see. So you're hitting the thirty meter yeah, crow. Getting, yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. Like. Brilliant. Ernie, so what do you think of the Lobo Mustang? I like it, aside from the sound. Aside from the sound, so it's yeah. too loud? Yes. And you've just been ringing steel at what, 45, 40 meters? Yes. yes. Brilliant. Yeah. And that's a rabbit sized target yeah. way out there. Let me just zoom in. It's that one middle of the screen right now, a 45 meter rabbit, which is pretty good. So, nice one. Great. Trevor, what do you think of the Lobo Mustang? Yeah, so I really enjoyed shooting it, but I can't see the point of the noise. It seems unnecessarily noisy. Yeah, we were just wondering, weren't we, whether speculating whether they've made it deliberately loud somehow. Because I can't see any other reason for doing it. I, I'm used to shooting moderated or shrouded PCPs that are at least partly moderated. So I'm used to PCPs being a lot quieter than this. And this is, it seems excessive, doesn't it? It does, unless that's the whole reason behind it. Isn't that, yeah, unless it's deliberate. But accuracy-wise, you seem yeah, right? Yeah, in fact, I'm amazed that I was managing to hit the target way in the distance there. That's so that one of those 45 meter ones? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Well, hey, so thumbs up. Absolutely. Thanks Thank very you. much, Trevor. So, Nori, you like the Lobo Mustang then? Yep, it's the most elegant PCP I've ever seen, and it's enough to turn me on to PCPs, and I'm a dedicated Springer man. Whoa. So, uh, that's saying something then. It is. And you like the big loud bang as well? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. It's got to have that too. Yeah, that just about completes the, the whole setup. Yeah. It's a Excellent. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous rifle. Lloyd in Blackpool Air Rifles? I think you might have a sale. <laughs> if I had the money. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Nori. You're welcome. Cheers. Sweet Nori, you seem to love this rifle, I rather recall. I did. Yep. I do. Excellent. <laughs> well, what I've got, we've got a full magazine there, yeah. 10 shots. Yeah. I've just gassed it up, so it's got about two, just over 200 bar in it. Okay. The scope yeah. is unusual. You've just had a look through it briefly, yeah. but just about finished setting up the scope last week. So okay. um, John's just checked it, and he was hitting the crow at 30 meters. Right. So if you want to, if you lean it on its left side, okay. if you... Open the lever fully. That's it. Yep. yep. And then take the mag uh -huh. with the two holes back towards you. Yep. Like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it slides in with the flat on top. No, it slides oh, in. There we go. Okay, yeah. So there we go. And it, Is that it? Yep. Clicks in. And yep. And then, and then lever back down. There's no safety catch that I know of. Yeah. So okay. it's now the gun's now live. That's right, live. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Feels lovely. And it, I'm just going to try and I'll look for the board first, just to see what it's like. Yes, there are some stickers that John's put up. Oh, that's amazing. You like it, don't you? Yeah, apart from the fact it looks like a work of art. It's a work of art, it's the noise just completes the whole picture. Excellent, you love that, don't you? I do, and if I can afford it, I'd buy it. Yeah, it's so cool. So was that close? Well, we hit it now. Yeah, it certainly tinged. doesn't work. Yep. Is it spot on? Yep. It's spot on. Spot on at 24 metres, brilliant. So, with that case, fire away. Even with me wobbling it, I managed to hit it. Amazing. You're happy, aren't you? Oh, God, yes. This is what it's all about. <laughs> awesome. It's a stunning gun. It's just so good. I think I've fallen in love. <laughs> So basically you love everything about it, the I feel do. of it, the look of it, the, the noise. noise. The noise of it. Oh, even when you miss it's yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good sign. Yeah, John's laughing in the background at that one. Even when you miss it's great. That's good. Oh, that's good. <sighs> This is just an awesome gun. There's no other word for it. The look as well is just, it's perfect. Excellent, just excellent. Perfect. Brilliant. Th 
Thanks for your time. Uh, oh, you're welcome. That's been a pleasure. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your time, Nori. Uh, can Cheers. Can I get <laughs> You wish. Might have to negotiate with Lloyd of Blackpool Air Rifles for that one. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Thanks for watching. I've got more videos coming very soon on the PAR AAS LRF, extended FAC ranges with 177 and then 22. Given a nice calm day, taking the 22 hopefully out to about uh, 100 metres in 10 metre increments. And there's a whole lot of other videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Take care.